Southern Californians today are breathing the cleanest air in more than 50 years. The region has reduced smog forming emissions by nearly 60% since the 1990s. Even so, we still have a long way to go. In 2010, our air did not meet federal health standards on 109 days. So during almost one in three days, the air was unhealthy to breathe. It is important that we meet these standards for the sake of our children, our families, our community, and for the sake of our own health. AQMD has taken that challenge and embraced it as our own vision. It is a vision of 100% public participation in air quality improvement. It's a vision of 100% clean air. It's a vision that we no longer suffer 100 days of excessive air pollution each year. We call it our challenge of 100 days. In the next few minutes, we want to share with you some of AQMD's most significant accomplishments in 2010, as well as our vision for tackling this challenge of 100 days. AQMD sponsors several programs to increase consumer participation in clean air solutions. In 2010, AQMD sponsored the largest lawnmower exchange ever. We exchanged more than 9,000 highly polluting gas-powered mowers for zero polluting cordless battery electric mowers. Residents got a deep discount on a brand new mower and now they're helping fight smog in their own backyards. In 2010, AQMD stepped up its efforts to inform Southern Californians about the potential unhealthful effects of the soot in wood smoke. By taking advantage of buy-down incentives in our voluntary Healthy Hearths program, homeowners have found they can still enjoy a cozy fire, but avoid the soot in wood smoke that adds to our region's air pollution problems and can be harmful to indoor air quality as well. I've done this myself, and in addition, you don't have to haul the wood in, you don't have to haul the ashes out, you get all the benefits and none of the detriments. This is another tool to help clean our air. Today, most of us want access to information quickly, easily, and at the touch of a finger. With AQMD's iPhone app unveiled last year, residents can now check air quality levels anytime and from anywhere in the Southland. They can receive daily air alerts help them plan their outdoor activities, find the nearest place to charge their electric vehicle, calculate their carbon footprint, and even report a smoking vehicle as they see it happen. AQMD's iPhone app makes it easy to help protect your family's health. In 2010, the AQMD started the uh, Communities of Faith Partnership. It's an effort between the AQMD and a number of faith communities, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and Buddhist, to do something about our environment. It's really about stewardship. And stewardship is defined as a judicious, reasonable use of our limited resources, our water quality, our air quality, our limited open space. And we as AQMD, with our knowledge and know-how, provide the tools, the equipment, and the education to these individuals and congregational leaders to do something, to take an active role in cleaning up the toxic air in our South Coast air basin. The phrase, our youth are our future, really hit home with me last year when 8,000 high school students and teachers participated in AQMD's A World We Can Change conference. These students heard firsthand from environmental experts on how they can get involved in creating a healthier environment today for tomorrow. They were eager to learn, eager for information, wanting to learn from environmental experts and to share that with their peers. Young people's involvement will help us achieve our goal of 100% participation. AQMD has sponsored zero emission vehicle solutions since the early 1990s. Today we continue that legacy with research and development in ultra-efficient plug-in hybrid cars, electric trucks, clean heavy-duty natural gas trucks, and the development of alternative fueling stations across the Southland. As we import oil, not only is it bad for the environment, it's bad for the country, it's bad for the economy, it's bad for the world. As we go to plug-in hybrids, followed by all-electric vehicles, 
we break that entire paradigm. Passenger vehicles are responsible for about 20% of all smog forming emissions. In 2010, AQMD, in cooperation with the South Bay City's Council of Governments, launched a demonstration program for local use vehicles, or LUVs, LUVs. A lot of driving trips, going to the grocery store and other errands, can be done in these zero emission electric vehicles. They're small vehicles, but they can take a big bite out of smog. The ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach are the largest polluting facilities in Southern California. Residents who live near the ports have a higher risk of cancer from all the diesel soot emitted by trucks, trains, and ships. In 2010, AQMD approved millions of dollars in grants to replace nearly 1,300 dirty diesel trucks operating in and around the ports with new, lower emission models. Port activity will continue to grow, and that will bring more jobs to our region. We want to make sure that the ports grow green. Well, a lot of consumers don't realize that the products that they buy in the stores contain smog-forming agents. Last year, AQMD adopted a measure that significantly reduces the amount of smog-forming ingredients in paint thinners and solvents the regulation reduces a key component of smog, volatile organic compounds, by the amount released from 780,000 or more cars each year. We also work with fire marshals so that people continue to use these materials safely. At AQMD, we're making sure that paints, thinners, and other solvents are safe, effective, and virtually smog-free. Just as individuals need to play their part to help us achieve clean air, governments need to cooperate to help us achieve that same goal. AQMD's Clean Communities Plan was developed in 2010 as a multi-agency approach to resolving pollution-related health impacts at the community level. The measures promote better land use decisions, identify areas with high cumulative risks, and address the need to increase public awareness and participation in developing cleaner, healthier communities. We need 100% participation from all parties to achieve clean air. In 2009, the station wildfire burned over 160,000 acres of the Angeles National Forest. This spring, the AQMD will sponsor one of the largest local reforestation efforts to date, planting hundreds of thousands of native trees in burned areas. This will help restore the forest ecosystem and reduce the chance of dangerous mudslides. The new trees also will take hundreds of thousands of tons of carbon dioxide, the main contributor to climate change out of the atmosphere during the next 100 years. The economic downturn presents us an opportunity to reflect on the choices we made and to rethink our choices moving forward. We've had extraordinary success in reducing air pollution from industrial type sources, but conventional vehicles both on and off road are causing nearly 90% of the air pollution in Southern California today. If we make our individual transportation choices with the environment in mind, collectively, our choices will amount to vast improvements in air quality for this region. Whenever 19 million people make choices, there are important impacts on our air quality. As you have seen, your South Coast Air Quality Management District is very busy. We're working to improve the air we breathe, working with business and industries and informing local governments and partnering with communities. Together we can improve the air quality in our region. We need everybody's involvement, 100% involvement, if we are to achieve 100% clean air. We want to eliminate those 100 plus days when air pollution exceeds health standards. It begins with us, you and I. 
It begins by embracing the vision of 100 days.